So good morning, friends, and welcome to another amazing episode of Get In Get Fit series. Today we are in session seventy six, and I have an expert speaker. His name is Mr. Nixon uh, Joseph. Sir has been a, a very inspirational runner. He has got many awards, and thank you so much, Kanan Sir, for uh, you know getting us associated with Nixon Sir. So Nixon uh, Sir is a CEO uh, of uh, CLT India and former president of the SBI Foundation. He's a banker by profession, works for many social causes with passion. He's also been the recipient of the Dreams Award 2021-22. He has done more than 300 webinars as a chief guest, guest of honor, and a panelist speaker. He started running at the tender age of 45 and has 53 full marathons to his credit. He's been running in all SBI Green marathons and thus earned the name of SBI Marathon Legend. His name is featured along with 45 other inspiring Indians in a book called Be an Inspiration. He's also been felicitated by the COVID Warrior Award by the Governor of Maharashtra. This is just the tip of the iceberg of his CV. More to listen to him from Nixon Sir himself. For the last uh, one and a half months that I have been associated with uh, Nixon Sir. I have got a number. Uh, I I can't uh, enumerate them for you. I've got a number of messages from Sir at the various podiums he has been a part of, and it is truly a uh, uh, you know a pleasure to host you today, Sir. Over to you. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Doctor Vidya, for this invite. I'm extremely happy, proud that uh, I have been asked to. Talk on uh, uh, in a fitness show, and uh, I'm uh, very happy that uh, this uh, opportunity has been given to me. And when I was uh, asked to speak on uh, uh, this uh, topic of fitness, I have told that uh, I will just share my experience only because uh, I'm not a very good or a coach on fitness. i'll just share my experiences so that uh, if someone gets inspired then uh, it gives a lot of satisfaction and uh, my journey as a runner i should uh, admit that uh, till the age of 45 i was not into any athletics or uh, running or any sports at all from childhood onwards i have been brought up telling to focus only on studies and uh, we, i was uh, brought up under the impression that all those who take part in sports or such activities are uh, too bad in studies or they have uh, nothing else to do that is why they are uh, focusing on uh, sports but it was a wrong opinion that uh, i joined the bank and uh, till the age of 45 just focused on work only at up the age of 45 i was a uh, thinking that uh, going to office at 9 am coming back at 9 pm that is not life life is much much bigger than this also it came into my mind that no one goes to a banker and tells uh, he is uh, inspiring he or she is inspiring i don't think like uh, you are thankful when some uh, banker sanctions a loan but then no one tells uh, sir you are inspiring so i thought that uh, we all have one life we should be able to inspire others in some way and uh, how you can inspire others by doing things differently so i thought spi is having 250000 uh, employees how can i be different from all of them i was just looking for one two months on uh, how to be different how to be different from uh, all the other uh, 250000 bankers and then it came to my mind that very few i would tell no one in uh, year 2004 was doing long, long distance running in sbi and therefore i thought this is something which if i do i may become different from others but i had no idea of what is running i had no idea of uh, what it takes to be 
a good runner. But still, I thought that this is some area where no state banker has entered it till now. Then this is something I will focus on and be different from others. And if I get be different, I will be able to inspire many others. So in this background, I saw the standard chartered Mumbai Marathon uh, like a registration uh, notification in 2004. And then I had, I, I thought this is uh, some opportunity which has come before me. I registered for the full marathon without even knowing what is the distance or what it takes to complete a full marathon. So many, I uh, told many of my friends very proudly, I am running the Mumbai marathon, full marathon. Too, they were all surprised. And many of them told me, don't do such activities. You are in a comfort zone. Why you should go for such adventurous activities? And many told me that you won't even complete five kilometers. So, so many people try to discourage me from this uh, running at that age. They were telling 45 years not a good age to enter running or enter into any sports activity. So at that time, various thoughts came into my mind. Like from my uh, ch from childhood onwards, all of us are brought up by the opinions of others and it goes into our head very, very badly. You won't become a good singer. You won't become a good sportsman. You won't become a good public speaker. You are good only for studies. You won't able, be able to sing well. All these things come into my mind. Uh, like uh, many opinions come like this come from our friends, relatives, teachers, everyone, that you will, you'll be useless in life. You won't become, become a good student like that and all. Over a period of time, this becomes our belief and we believe in that, we live in that cage. I was also living in that cage where I thought that I'm only very good in studies. I am not good in running or uh, athletics or sports, etc. and all. But if we continue to live in that cage, we never grow. We have to come out of that cage. I decided I'm going to come out of that prison of others' opinions. Though many colleagues, many friends told me, you won't even complete five kilometers. I just thought I'm going to experiment this, experience this and see how far I will go, how far I can go. And then I decided whatever it may come, I'm going to participate in the Mumbai Marathon. I started the run on the race day. I was very excited to see so many professionals, so many amateurs, so many uh, great runners uh, by my side. Very uh, For a moment, I thought I have also become a great sportsman. And the run started. After a few kilometers, maybe seven kilometers, I couldn't go ahead. I thought this is the time for me to surrender. I remembered the words of many friends and colleagues who told you, you won't complete even five kilometers. I decided I'm not going to give up. If it was so easy, so many people would have joined this uh, marathon running. And no one had compelled me to register for the marathon. I did it myself. Then I will complete it somehow. It was go as if going through hell. Every three kilometers, five kilometers, there was a temptation to surrender. I didn't know what was a marathon running because it was my first run. It taught me a, like, a lot of lessons. Then I dragged myself to the 42 kilometers finish point. It took almost six hours, 30 minutes for me to reach 42 kilometers. But after reaching there, when I got the finisher's medal, it gave me a message that if you are determined, you can achieve anything in life. So I started practicing for uh, the, uh, like uh, starting practicing for the next marathons, etc. Then continuously for the next four years, I registered for the Standard Chartered Mumbai Marathon, improved my timings. Because the practice was not up to the mark. You can do well in running or any sports and it depends on your practice level. How hard you practice, you do well accordingly. I was uh, speaking to Karnam Malayashari, India's first 
Olympian um, medalist in weightlifting. And I was asking her how many hours practice uh, she did before the Olympics, participating in the Olympics. And she was telling me 14 to 17 hours every day, weightlifting. That gives the message that what we see when people are in the podium receiving medals is a rosy picture of things. But there are like a lot of hard work, a lot of determination, a lot of sacrifice going behind such achievement. So I completed four full marathons in Mumbai and improved my timing to five hours, 30 minutes. That is from zero running to that stage. I got an assignment in Japan and I was in Japan for four years. So when I went to Japan, what I found was most of the people taking care of their health like anything, taking care of their body like anything. You see everyone, even 60, 70, 80, 90 year old man, woman, everyone doing some sort of exercise to take care of their wellness, take care of their fitness. I think many doing swimming, cycling, riding, jogging, walking, working out in the gym, all this. And you get inspired like anything because whenever you go out for a walk or anything, you find many running, cycling, jogging, etc. You yourself, even if you are, how much lazy you are, you will be forced to do something at least. And there is, uh, there are proper jogging um, uh, courses there, proper running courses there. So in fact, I found the ecosystem in Japan very good for all kinds of sports. That's no, there is no wonder that they uh, get more uh, medals than us in Olympics or anything. And when I saw old men, 80 year old men, women running faster than me, it inspired me more. And I also found in, in uh, Tokyo, 350,000 people apply for full marathons. 350,000 people and they draw a lottery and out of that they select 30,000 people to run the marathon. And I was very lucky, four years in Japan, I got won the lottery and participated in the Tokyo Full Marathon. And because I could practice a lot, I improved my timings while I was in Japan and it improved to four hours, 30 minutes. I went in various places uh, uh, in Japan to participate in marathon. And in Japan only, really, seeing so many people so active, I began participating in more than two uh, marathons. And then uh, I think I used to run three marathons every year when I was in Japan. The climate was very good, ecosystem was very good, and a lot of uh, cheering by the spectators, onlookers, etc. You are moved in that uh, mode of running or participating in any activity. And also I found in Japan at all, people start living after the age of 60. In India, I find most of the people when they retire from their jobs, they retire from their life also. Whereas in Japan, I find 60, 70, 80, 90 year old people living life, adding life to their years. Not adding years to their life, taking part in whatever activity they had left and whatever uh, they couldn't do while they were in service, they start after uh, retiring from their jobs. In India, I find many people find it very distressful to retire from the job because that they think it is retiring from their life also. So in Japan, I uh, completed, I think while I was in Japan, I almost completed 12 full marathons after returning to India. I thought I will not uh, give up. I should do, I should, if I give up, it will be very bad. Uh, I won't be able to come back to this. And then uh, another uh, thing I remember about uh, running in Tokyo is three years I ran for a cause. That is for helping families of children who were suffering from cancer. And I'm very proud that I used to raise more than two lakhs rupees every year for that cause. And uh, like uh, I uh, like uh, I found some Japanese contributing 25,000, 30,000 rupees and all for this cause. And I asked one of them why you are uh, uh, like uh, giving, uh, donating to this cause 30,000, 40,000. You don't know me. Why you are uh, supporting me like that? 
and he was telling you see one engine is running for japanese families i should uh, support that engine that is why i thought of donating in fact every year i used to raise around 2 to 3 lakhs rupees for supporting families suffering from cancer so after coming to india india i found when compared to japan we don't have proper running environment but still i thought i shouldn't give up this and i started running four full marathons per year and till the lockdown was uh, the impose i completed around uh, 40 full marathons that is from a stage of zero running to 40 full marathons and during the lockdown many people told me you can't do running <coughs> i did jogging inside my apartment not once but almost five to six times just to prove that if you are determined if there is a will there is an inspiring way to achieve it because many people told me you can't do jogging inside your apartment <coughs> sorry you can't complete uh, even uh, 25 kilometers inside an apartment i wanted to prove them wrong and i did it many times it takes so much time because of you can't negotiate much you can't sp uh, speed up much inside uh, the apartment but still it is worth it you can move your body <clears throat> and at, uh, like in uh, february i completed my 53rd full marathon <clears throat> it's not uh, i don't run very fast I, i don't consider myself a great runner i don't consider myself as a great sportsman what i have achieved is from zero running to a stage where i could complete 42 kilometers quite comfortably and what has running given to me running has made me very positive very optimistic very determined whatever optimism happiness excitement determination this a feeling of courage to face any challenges all these i carry to my workplace i am proud to tell that my productivity has increased because of running you whatever you do outside your workspace you carry that to your workplace also because habits are not or the traits you develop are not one time things one of things and all it becomes part of your life i enjoy running though i am not a great runner i think uh, runners like uh, kanan ji and all when be completing within 4 hours or 4 uh, and 1/2 hours i may take 5 and 1/2 hours 6 hours to complete the run but i enjoy the running and i tell that unless you enjoy running it is a burden on you enjoyment can come when you feel that it is not a stress on you running has given me lot of friends i told you i started running to inspire others i am very proud to tell thousands in sbi and outside have been inspired hearing my story i still remember when i was doing the mumbai marathon at the 36th kilometer someone one young boy in his 20s he was a banger he rushed towards me and told sir i want to hug you i told why he told no, no sir you have inspired me a lot i told i'm sweating like anything please don't do it now he told no no in spite of sweat whatever i want to hug you now that is the feeling you generate in people if you do think differently it gave me lot of friends not only within the bank outside the bank also in fact i uh, like uh, many of the olympians great sportsmen all of them had invited me to various uh, events where they were discussing about physical literacy because we had a fought against literacy digital literacy financial literacy now uh, icons like kapulela gobichand they are telling they are promoting physical literacy and i have uh, participated along with kapulela uh, gobichand ji in uh, many uh, webinars where uh, we were speaking about physical literacy physical literacy means not uh, running or swimming you do something to give movement to your body like uh, financial literacy digital literacy and other literacy 
foundation literacy, we should have some amount of movement for our body every day. So I do that in the sense, our, uh, when I was in SBI, the SBI head office is 20, sto 20 story building. Whenever someone calls me from 19th floor or 20th floor, I rarely use the ele uh, elevator or a uh, lift. I just climb the stairs. So what I mean is that we need not like uh, try our best to complete any marathon within three hours or do swimming at this speed or anything. No, we do whatever we want at our leisure, at our happiness, at our comfort, listening to our body and improve our physical literacy. That will give you fitness. Fitness is not athletic exercise alone. Fitness is not participating in sports alone. Fitness is a combination of mental things, emotional things, and physical things. We have to have a balance or a positive approach in all these aspects. Only then we can tell we are fit. Fitness is a feeling. And I always tell if I can, without any running till the age of 45, without any sports uh, participation till the age of 45, could do something in running, could complete 53 full marathons. Everyone else who is listening to me and anyone can do it. And uh, I, here I would tell you, listen to your body and then do things as per your uh, comfort and convenience. So many of the runners wake up early, five o'clock in the morning and start practicing. I'm a late uh, uh, riser so that I wake up generally at 6.30 to 7 early. So I start my jogging after 7. And the holidays, weekends, I do more of running at that time. I don't do it at even 7 even. I do it after 10 o'clock. Leisure. Because if we are disturbing our schedule center so much, we may find running a pain. We may find swimming a pain. We should do things in a very good mood, enjoying the activity. That is only then we will be able to sustain that activity. And any of these activities, we should uh, like we should have a mind to learn, practice, etc. And we will have that mind to do only if we enjoy it. That is why if I am a coach and if I ask someone to come at five o'clock, many people may find it very difficult to rise, uh, rise wake up in the morning and uh, come at five o'clock. So do things at your own leisure, listening to your body. And that is the secret of uh, fitness. I'm very happy that you have uh, listened to me, listened to my experiences. And I'll be happy to take any questions. Thank you so much, Nixon, sir. I mean, truly, it was such an inspiration to listen to you. Uh, as you had mentioned, like, you know, uh, many a times uh, people uh, don't, uh, are, probably are not runners uh, by nature. I am one such person. So whatever you said resonated with what uh, my thoughts were. I was not into sports. I did some group games when I was in uh, school, maybe Coco and, you know, throw ball and things like that, but never a single individual runner. And uh, uh, listening to you just gives us hope that, you know, all of us can start. And I think uh, enjoying as you run, that's what you told. Yeah. That makes a lot of difference. Yeah, it should be people... just... yes. Yes, we should be like a physically literate means it should not be running or what, whatever can give us move, give movement to our body. We can do it. Maybe it's throwing a ball or some playing by the beach side or dancing or some aerobic, something which gives us uh, gives movement to the body and uh, gives us some kind of comfort, some kind of excitement that itself is enough. See, um, many people think whether, whether I should start running marathon or uh, it's not required. You do whatever you want, but find some opportunity which can give movement to your body. In fact, what India should do now is making people physically literate. 
Absolutely. Well said, sir. I love that terminology. Physically illiterate. I love that. I think I'll use that more often from now on uh, because uh, uh, start of the pandemic is when this Get In Get Fit series started. At that time, uh, we all used to go to the park and do exercise. So like you had mentioned, you did uh, eight full marathons from home. Uh, people thought being at home or sitting at home means physical activity becomes zero. So uh, that's how we started our Get In Get Fit everyday series. We do it from 6 to 6.40 every day. And we have people from the age of 20 to 85 joining us every single day. Uh, whether it is Holi or Pongal or Diwali, we are not given leave, which means uh, physical fitness or 40 minutes of me time is so very important to uh, run through the day. And I love that concept where you said that because you became physically active, uh, it increased your productivity at work. Many a times I have heard people say, I'm so busy at work, I don't find time to exercise. So can you just give us some nuggets for those people who say that? You see, many people tell we don't have time to uh, do running or swimming or any kind of physical activity. That is a myth. We find time for activities which were, we give priority. We don't find for a time for any physical activity because we are not giving priority to it. We think working, sitting at office from morning 9 to evening 9, uh, pleasing the boss or uh, doing work alone or pretending to be a very serious worker or just doing work alone. We have only time for that. It is a wrong concern because in the long run, if you are focusing only on work for 10 to 12 hours like this, you won't be able to continue, sustain it. We should all look on ways to sustain our life. You, you like being young, you may be able to do it for another 10 years, maybe up to 30, 35 years. But beyond that, if we have to work like this, we have to find some extracurricular activity which will give movement to our body and also which will excite us. Because over a period of time, life, work, everything becomes monotonous. We have to find excitement somewhere. And I found my excitement in jogging just even meaninglessly. I'll tell you because I'm not participating in an organized marathon or anything. Just I want to keep myself busy, keep myself doing something. That is that like you told I participated in uh, 300 uh, webinars during the lockdown period. I could have just relaxed at home. Why I did it was life, you can do many things. We have to like uh, find time to do things which excite us excites us and participating in a webinar is not giving my passion and uh, giving my knowledge to others it is also learning from others when people ask questions it makes me think from a different perspective i learn a lot and i find many of the points raised by question uh, by way of questions i use it in various forums later because it is a learning experience the 300 webinars if i participate uh, took part i always tell i completed an MBA course. <laughs> I completed a management course. It is like that because I learned from so many people. And if you uh, tell that I don't have time means that is a very foolish thing you are telling because you will find times only for things which you give priority. If you are not finding time, it only shows you are not giving priority to your physical activity, which is very much essential. You will learn over a period of time. After uh, taking to running only, I came to know so many plus points. So like, I, I'll tell you, so, so many people I could inspire, so many people came to know me. I became very positive. I became very confident. It increased my self-worth and esteem. That, that these are all the plus points which come when you participate in anything. I'm telling not you to uh, run marathon and complete. No, it's not like that. Something which you couldn't do earlier when you do, something which others are not doing, which you are doing, all this gives you some kind of uh, confidence. See, till uh, last month, like from uh, March onwards, I started learning swimming. Why? Because I have never done it earlier. I was very scared of swimming, scared of water. But I thought I should like uh, uh, do something to energize myself more. I should do something to challenge myself more. 
and uh, like uh, people will tell her, you are 60 why you should do it it is because i am 60 i should do it because <laughs> every age we can do lot of things age is only a number it is how we think only our mind or body works Awesome. Well said, sir. Well said. Very, very uh, beautiful nuggets you gave. Uh, speaking from where you left, uh, you know, you were uh, talking about the importance of health. There's a famous quote which says like, you know, uh, the, the profession you work is like a rubber ball. When you drop it down, it will come back to you. But uh, if you don't have a good health, healthy relationships, or a good, uh, you know, positive approach towards yourself and life. They are like a glass ball. Once you put it down, it will break and shatter. I guess you said it so beautifully. And uh, again, when you spoke about, uh, you know, getting out of this uh, comfort zone, having a growth mindset and getting always to do something which you've not done before will give you that thrill, that high which will keep you or propel you towards a better you on a daily basis. So yes. wonderfully said, sir. Absolutely awesome. We are so privileged to have you. Uh, if there is any questions from the audience, you can unmute yourself, my dear friends. Ma'am, thank you so much. First of all, thank you, ma'am, for this wonderful session. I have to say 1,000, 10,000 million thanks to you, ma'am. In my life, lots of changes, like Sar said, uh, lots of miracles have started happening. Just one week only I started running, ma'am. How much blessed I feel, you know, the blessings I got, ma'am. I have not achieved anything. I have not got medal. But I started running. That feeling is, it's it's absolutely magnanimous, ma'am. I should say thanks to you and all, all our mentors who have been a, a inspiration for me. Uh, like Kannan sir, Sudha, ma'am. They're all motivating me, ma'am. So it's all because of you. I know you. So through you, I know other persons and Vijay, ma'am, also. And today, I first time I uh, ran. And, uh, run in the Taneru Stadium, ma'am. Five kilometers I have completed. That itself, I feel like a big achievement. Uh, Sar's uh, speech is really, really uh, very, very important for me as a budding uh, runner. See, I can say I am in LKG level. Sar is in PhD level. <laughs> that, that's what I can say. <laughs> so you are in See, PhD Ampiga, level. Ampiga, when you can enjoy running, only if you <laughs> run, run for its sake. You shouldn't think about yes. winning medals or... Uh, uh, uh -huh. defeating some other person etc you just start enjoying uh -huh. the running the time you are having you should have your time you are like my yes. time the time you yes. are having and i enjoy that only being alone being alone yes. in my thoughts while running it makes my yes. thoughts very sharp whatever i should do in office everything i get a plan new innovation create everything while i run only so when i uh -huh. running itself i'm enjoying because of that and not like when I make it very competitive, I may not enjoy. So many people ask yes. me how many hours you take. I, I tell I take maybe five hours, five and a half hours and all. But then if uh, I am, then they may think hey, this is not a good time. Okay, it's not a good time. But if I try to make uh, it within four hours or three hours something, I'm taking the burden or stress of my work to running also. Exactly. I just want yeah. running to be enjoyable. I want swimming yeah. to be enjoyable. Walking to yes. be enjoyable. Whatever way comfortable yeah. for my body, I will just go and do it. Otherwise, we yeah. are transferring yeah. the same stress and the schedule, everything to running. So many exactly. people tell you, uh, like, uh, I don't know, I am not in agreement with people who tell, wake up at four o'clock, come do this in a structured manner. No. I feel then you are uh -huh. just carrying all these things into running also. Running yes. should be casual. Running should be yes, something sir. you wake up in the morning excited and do by the morning 8 o'clock or afternoon 1 o'clock. What is wrong with it? Who told you cannot do it? Just do it for the sake of enjoyment, for the sake of giving movement to your body and also having a my time. That only we should uh, do it. All other things, if you get medal, it is good. If you are able to done, uh, do fast, it is very good. All these are additional bonus. Our yes. aim should that's be that's 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 just doing it for our own yes. enjoyment. Just be yes. free in running or dancing or uh, playing or anything. Just be free. Don't make it so structured. That's why people get uh, like we, I don't. We don't go to religious classes in when we were uh, Catholics and uh, churches. They make it compulsory. You go to church, 
church you pray then uh, religious classes these this and when it becomes so structured you don't go you uh, run away from these uh, religious classes the same thing if you make it very structured people may not enjoy it our aim should be to bring more people into this uh, running physical literacy habit okay yes i'm become very happy to learn about it and uh, continue this uh, good uh, activity Okay. Thank you, sir. Sure, I will do it, sir. Such a wonderful people. You are all motivating me. I am really enjoying it. I am smiling with the first kilometer, and I'm even when I finish five six kilometers, the smile will be there in my face because as I said, I'm enjoying it. I'm doing it. So I, really have, I don't think I have found it. Many of the marathoners, this Kannanji, all of them, are very inspiring people, very encouraging, yes. uh, motivating others. That is something I have seen uh, in these sports. that is uh, something yes sir that's a good cause because that good helping others is the main cause sir you were also telling like 2 to 3 lakhs you are collecting for cancer people so the main mindset is helping people that is uh, that is why i think we are all coming to this one uh, roof actually uh, that's a good attitude uh, same kind of chemistry <laughs> that's what i say <laughs> thank you so much sir thanks a lot to ambika for those uh, lovely interaction thank you so much uh, nixon sir for that inspirational talk you have a lot of people who have appreciated you here i'm just going to read that uh, appreciation note uh, kalaiwani says wonderful sir uh, ambika says great achievement sir mini ma'am says very inspiring and motivating talk real trail blazer for people of all ages and uh, to improve their body and mind and sudha ma'am says great inspiration thank you sir So thanks a lot, my dear friends, for joining in, and thank you, Nixon sir, uh, for such a wonderful, inspirational Saturday morning. See you, friends, uh, again next Saturday with another amazing speaker. Till then, this is Dr. Vidya Hari signing off. Take care, love you, bye.